Hi, good morning everybody. I'm Sarah Smith. I'm a horticulturalist here at Rogers Gardens. Thank you so much for tuning in. We always appreciate that you get up in the morning and you tune in and you watch us or maybe you're watching us later. That's okay. We still put it onto our Instagram and our Facebook page. So if you're not a morning bird, like some of us here, you can always watch it later because we'll post that later. So welcome to all the late people coming into it as well. Um, again, Sarah Smith, a horticulturalist here at Rogers Gardens, and today I'm going to show you all the different Christmas trees that we have here at Rogers. The holidays are very quickly approaching, uh, and if you celebrate Christmas, we have all kinds of beautiful Christmas trees here at Rogers Gardens, but they're all very special trees, so I'm going to kind of go over the different types of trees and a little bit about the journey that the Christmas trees take to get here. Um, I really find that part super fascinating, uh, being a horticulturalist and knowing how these trees are grown and how they're processed and how they get here uh, is really kind of mind-blowing. There's very different ways to grow Christmas trees. Uh, and of course here at Rogers Gardens, we don't do anything mundane. It's really, really special that the way these trees are grown. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. I'll answer your questions at the end as well. Uh, so let's get started. So uh, first off, we've got all of our trees in. They are here. We have a huge load of trees coming in right now as well. Uh, so they're unloading them currently. They're all super, super fresh. Uh, so come in and get your tree soon because trees definitely sell out. And the more unusual ones sell out very, very quickly uh, towards the end of the season when we get closer to Christmas. Uh, we definitely don't have as many to choose from. So if you really want to get the pick of you know, the litter, this is the time for sure to come in. Um, we have our trees coming from two different places. So I'm going to talk about these guys here first, and then we're going to get into the silver sheen down at the end. But um, the trees are not grown crop style. There's two different ways to grow trees. Uh, one is crop style, and the other one is tree style. So crop style, think uh, tomatoes, corn, stuff like that, where uh, trees are grown, and I'm sure you've probably seen this before, where trees are grown in lines in a farm, just like a crop, right? And they um, are grown on a flat surface and very, very low elevation, and the uh, big old machine comes in and just chops them all down. So they cut them all down at once. Um, and so there's all different kinds of trees in there, little trees, big trees, trees with weird holes, things that aren't ready to be cut down. Uh, so they take everything. So those are the trees you're typically gonna find pretty much everywhere else where they're gonna grow them crop style. Our trees here are grown tree style, um, which is where they're actually grown really, really high elevations, like 7,500 feet up. Uh, and they're grown on the side of a hill and they're not grown in rows uh, and you have all different uh, ages of trees. So you have saplings all the way to really, really big mature trees uh, all up on a hillside. So they're all growing together and being such a high, cool elevation. So these ones here are all grown in the Castaic Mountains, uh, which is really kind of cool. Uh, and the trees are going to be thicker and fuller um, and denser because of that high elevation, which is pretty amazing. Uh, so, and they're gonna smell a lot better and they're gonna last a lot longer too because of that. Um, and how they're uh, actually harvested is that the workers go up into the mountains. It's really kind of amazing. We have a video online too, so definitely check it out, especially if you have kids, because the kids will probably love to see this. Uh, the workers go up into the mountains uh, and they start tagging all the trees. So they're hand picking the trees. They're not cutting all of them in an area down at once because we have, remember, saplings to big, big, full mature trees. So they're watching those trees and they're checking them every single year and they're picking the year when they're perfect. So they go up, they start tagging all the trees that they're going to cut. Uh, they start cutting those trees down up on a hillside. So it is a little bit kind of treacherous and a little bit hard, it's cold, right? We're dealing with some snow and stuff. And they start cutting down the trees that they think are ready to go. So it's not, uh, it's all hand picked. It's not just every single tree goes at once. And then they bundle those trees up. And here's the really, really cool part. A helicopter comes and it grabs the bundle of trees and it flies really, really low elevation, like 50 feet. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and they grab all those trees and they take them down the hillside and they drop them off at the bottom. Um, and it's working really, really fast at that point because helicopters are expensive to rent, <laughs> right? So they're working really, really fast. So they've got to be ready and they're grabbing those trees and they're taking them down. So all of these trees that you see 
have had a helicopter ride, which is pretty amazing, right? Uh, so they're picking all those trees, they're helicoptering them all down, they're bringing them down here, uh, they're getting them all wrapped up, they grade the trees, so we only get the highest grade tree, uh, so we really, really have nice, full, beautiful trees. Um, I didn't even really take that long hand picking these ones this morning, and each one of these is pretty dang perfect, which is kind of amazing. Uh, so that's where all these trees come from. So we have uh, the nobles. This is a very traditional kind of Christmas tree. Uh, it's what everybody kind of thinks of as being a beautiful Christmas tree. The nice thing about the nobles is you can get them from small trees to really, really big trees. So if you need a littler tree, nobles definitely the way to go. Uh, beautiful layering. They're very, very nice. They're very, very full. Um, the branches are really good for um, decorating and putting lights and stuff on so that's your very traditional noble tree uh they kind of got this light blue kind of color to them uh they're kind of stiff um and they have a nice smell to them the one behind me right here uh this is a nordman uh the nordman trees also you can get them on the smaller side they're definitely more full they're not as layered um, looking as the noble trees are, but they're very uniform. They almost look like artificial trees. They also have a shininess to the leaf that's kind of interesting. So when I look at them, sometimes I'm always like, they're so incredibly perfect and so symmetrical. Uh, so if you really like that full, very, uh, very super lush, and they have a nice deep green color with a little bit of a silverness and a little bit of a shininess to the leaves. So that's the Nordman. And again, these are all grown in a similar area. The next one we have over here, this is the Wild Noble. The Wild Noble is my personal favorite. <laughs> I think they're so pretty. Um, I think just being kind of a naturalist like I am, I love how pretty these are and how kind of wild they look. Um, the Wild Noble and the regular noble are actually the same tree. Um, the wild noble has been manicured over time, or sorry, the regular noble has been uh, manicured over time to give it a little bit of a fullness. This one is not really trimmed, a little bit here and there, uh, but they allow them to kind of be their natural state. Uh, they're very layered looking. Um, they uh, tend to not be very small because uh, they have a lot of width to them because they're not shearing the sides down. Uh, so if you're looking for a narrow tree, this is a little bit of a harder one to find and I'm just saying that because I'm always looking for a narrower tree, but I love the wild noble so much. So this is the tree that I get typically. Um, it's really hard when you're working with all the trees and you see so many cool things and you're like, oh, I want that one. And then I'm like halfway through the day, I'm like, wait a minute. No, I want this one. Wait, no, this one. And <laughs> by the end of the season, I've picked about five different ones that I want. Um, so this is the wild noble love it super layered you can see a little bit more of the trunk on here uh definitely more layered looking really really fun to decorate it's nice if you have like big ornaments because you can fill up in spaces where if you have a really full tree and you have bigger ornaments they're kind of harder to get them onto the tree so that's also another part that i really like about this one um the next one down here is the fraser fir uh fraser fir is really really cool fraser fir is something i hardly see at any nurseries um, or any uh, tree growers. The Fraser fir is really neat, kind of a little bit like uh, the Nordman, but what I really like about the Fraser fir, first they smell fantastic, uh, and they have definitely this like really silver quality to the underside of the leaf, so you almost have like a two-tone tree in a way. Um, the branches tend to be a little bit more kind of upright, um, and they're really, really sturdy branches too, which is great. So it doesn't have a much of that layering look, a little bit more than a the Norman does, uh, but that silvery underside I think is just really, really cool and really pretty um, on the bottom of that. The next two trees, these are our designer trees. So these are trees that you're not going to see at another nursery near here. Um, they're really, really special. They're an exclusive tree to us. Um, this one is still grown um, in the Sierras. This is the last one. This is a Blue Noble. So the Blue Noble is really different, really unusual. It definitely has that gray bluish quality to it. Uh, it's not as full as the regular Noble. So it is a little bit kind of like a mix of a regular Noble and a Wild Noble together. But this bluish green quality is gorgeous. I absolutely love these. These trees tend to be a little bit on the bigger side, definitely on the fuller side. Uh, so there's a little bit more layering to it, but coloration is just really, really amazing with this. Um, I absolutely love these ones. They smell fantastic too. So when you come here into the nursery, the first tree that you're probably going to see is the Blue Noble. So that's the one we have closest to the bottom of the restaurant. Uh, super pretty. And again, not anything you're going to find 
anywhere else, which is really kind of amazing, at least not anywhere around here. Um, and we have quite a few of these this year and they're absolutely beautiful. Um, and the last tree that we have is our silver sheen, or silver tip, sorry. Silver sheen is a pittosporum, uh, silver tip. Uh, so this is an absolutely gorgeous, really unique tree. I'm sure you've probably seen them here and there. There is one grower for these now. There used to be two, that one unfortunately burned down a couple of years ago. Um, but this is, um, grown not the same way as these necessarily because this is not grown uh, in the Castaics. This is grown in the Sierra Nevada uh, mountains and this is still grown not crop style but hill st or tree style where um, they're picking and choosing but there's a little bit of a difference with this one which is really kind of cool. So these were grown at a super high elevation. They're really 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 layered uh, so it's definitely great for those big ornaments. They really show off the ornaments better, I think, than any of the other trees. Uh, but what happens with these is there's a team of about 15 to 16 people that go up, workers that go up, they pack up uh, all of their stuff and they actually camp in the hillside and in the mountains while they're cutting the trees. And it takes about three weeks. So they work super, super fast uh, and they have to uh, get all of their food, all of their equipment, all of their sleeping bags, all of the trucks up into the hillside and then they start picking out the trees and it's really really cold up there a lot of times they have issues with like even uh the tree processors and the baling things uh freezing because of how cold it is so it, it's really kind of a little bit of a grueling task for them to cut these trees but the view is fantastic it's a huge view of the um the eagle uh lake there which is absolutely gorgeous so it's kind of like near susanville um and is it summer vale no mount shasta uh yeah mount shasta in susanville uh so it's grown in the hillsides near there so absolutely gorgeous view uh absolutely beautiful and those people just work their tails off cutting all the trees and getting them all ready to bring down so it's really kind of a neat thing to think that like just about 15 to 16 people handpicked this tree and it's something they do every single year and you see pictures and stuff of them which is really kind of interesting we have some on our website and they've got their dogs with them and there's pictures of them all around the fire uh, at the end of the night after working super hard to pick all the trees. So it's really kind of a neat thing to know how these are grown. Uh, this one um, is dormant when they cut it. So this is a dormant tree when it cuts. So it lasts for a really long time uh, because of that as well. So it's kind of a neat thing uh, just to know how these trees are grown. So of course, if you have any questions, we can answer those questions for you. Uh, we do offer these tree for local delivery. So we do have a delivery service that will actually come to your house, set the tree up in a stand for you, bring it to your house, put it in the right spot. So it's a full service uh, delivery. They're not going to decorate your trees, <laughs> however, uh, but they'll bring them in, set them up, get them in the stands for you uh, just locally here in Orange County. Um, of course, we can also um, net them up, bag them up, and put them in your or on your car for you as well. Uh, so you can uh, come pick them up later if you come and you find a tree and you're like, this is great, but today I brought my Mini Cooper. I can't put this on my car. We can save it here for you for up to three days. Uh, and you can come back and bring uh, the right car to get it on or set up delivery as well. So uh, we offer stands as well. Well, we do not do any flocking or anything like that. Our trees are very, very natural. Uh, so we don't put any chemicals or anything crazy on the trees uh, here. So there's no flocking or anything like that, but no mess either, which is great. So if you've got any questions, I'll answer those for you now. And then of course, if you came into this a little bit later, we can answer those questions for you later. So still put them down below uh, and we'll get those questions answered for you. So do we have any questions? Yeah. What was the last tree that you were talking about? The last about? tree. So this is the silver tip, which I called silver sheen. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'm so used to talking plants. So this is a silver tip tree. Uh, so it's got that really kind of beautiful minty kind of color. Uh, very, very layered with that gorgeous white trunk that you can actually see. Um, and really, really great for holding ornaments and stuff as well. Uh, we get these ones pretty tall, which is kind of neat. So you can get a pretty tall tree um, in the silver tips. Um, but they typically start at like six to seven feet and they go up to like 12, 15 feet um, on these. But absolutely gorgeous tree again, because it's dormant when they cut it. Uh, it lasts a really, really long time. And this is the one that's grown just for one uh, grower um, in one area. Uh, so it's definitely not something you're going to really find anywhere else 
definitely not in the quantities that we have them here at Rogers. We have quite a few. They're unloading trees currently as we talk, so uh, they're bringing those all out. So if you want a tree that's really, really special, I definitely recommend coming in sooner than later. Uh, we also have a tree preservative that you can put in the water, so that helps replace all the sugars into the tree that the tree loses because it's no longer photosynthesizing anymore. Uh, but that will keep your tree nice and fresh as well. Uh, and to keep your tree really fresh, you just want to make sure that you have it away from vents. So you want to think not super dry conditions. So a lot of people want to put their tree right next to their fireplace. Be very, very careful. That's going to draw out your tree. Uh, also, fires can happen. So we always want to think safety. Uh, but if you uh, have like a heater blowing right on it, think about a different place uh, for it because that will definitely dry it out. And you want to make sure that you keep the bowl filled with water. Uh, the trees will still drink water. We give them all a fresh cut when you pick them up um, and they'll pull up water constantly. So you will have to replace that. Don't just put water in one time and then not think about it again. Continue to check it at least every other day uh, to make sure that it stays nice and full and watered. I'm coming today. Is there Christmas stuff out? There is. There is tons of Christmas stuff out. Uh, we are all ready here for Christmas. We are on our late hours as well, so we're open till 8 o'clock. Uh, so you can come in and see all the lights. We have the whole entire area lit up. Uh, we did something different this year. Usually we just put white lights up. We have green lights up on some of the trees. It looks beautiful. It's really kind of neat to see something different here. Uh, the train is up, so we always have that cute little train uh, in that display garden when you first come in the original entrance that's absolutely gorgeous there's a whole woodland theme uh going on in there right now all of our trees in the gallery ornaments 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 from all over the world uh germany they travel all over the world for these ornaments and a lot of them are in short supply so there's just a couple of them so if you see an ornament you like buy it now because i found an ornament that i'm in love with and it's already sold out so i'm really sad that i didn't buy it uh but yeah we are already poinsettias uh, this poinsettia that I have in my hat here, we've got the poinsettias, amaryllis bulbs, paper whites, all the things you think about for Christmas we have right now for sure. Sorry for jumping on my soapbox and kind of ranting, but we are ready and it's so, so pretty right now. Uh, any other questions? Are you open on Thanksgiving? We're not open on Thanksgiving Day. No, we are going to be open the day before and the day after, but not on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, we are on short hour on Christmas Eve. Uh, I believe we close at three, I want to say. Uh, and then we're closed on Christmas Day. Uh, same thing with New Year's. Um, there'll be a small handful of Christmas stuff up still, maybe on New Year's Day. Stuff goes pretty quickly uh, once we get closer to Christmas. Uh, but we'll be uh, short hours on New Year's Eve and then close New Year's Day as well. Is this the best year to buy trees? Yeah, well, trees are in short supply. I will definitely tell you that uh, because of the fact that we are dealing with wildfires in some of the places and dealing with drought in some of the places, I would say this is the year to buy your tree early. If you're used to buying your tree really late in the season, I would not wait because uh, trees are a much shorter supply. You're going to see that in every single tree lot that you go to. Uh, if you buy your tree at a nursery or a big box store, you're definitely going to see that there is less trees than normal. Uh, so so I would say this is the year to buy your tree early for sure because um, you don't want to like run out of the neat varieties and stuff. Um, I think we have 200 less trees than normal because of dealing with wildfires, droughts, things like that. Unfortunately, these things happen. Trees are live and not manufactured. They're grown, uh, you know, obviously, like I've been talking about, they grow in nature. So uh, things affect them, just like dealing with wine and vineyards and things like that. Things affect it, pumpkin uh, as well. So uh, definitely come in early to buy your tree this year so yeah and then if you have any more questions just stick them down below there and we'll answer those questions for you uh and uh we have all kinds of really nice blogs on our website so if you want to see each tree kind of broken down there's a great blog on our website underneath the learning center you can click on christmas trees if you want to see that video of the helicopter flying the trees down it's really kind of interesting and i think if you have uh younger kids they might be interested in seeing that and then they can come in and help you pick the christmas tree uh and they know that 
that that tree's actually been on a helicopter and flown down a hillside, which is really kind of cool. Uh, get pictures in all the Christmas trees, pick your tree, come see all the lights. There's all kinds of fun stuff going on here at Rogers Garden. So thank you so much for tuning in. I love doing these and talking with you all. Uh, and then when you come in and you're like, hey, it's Sarah from the live stream or it's Suzanne from the live stream, Crystal, uh, you'll see us all walking around. We're here all day long. So uh, come in, say hi, pick your tree. We'll get your picture in front of your tree for you. Everybody comes in and they want us to take pictures of them in front of the tree they pick, which is really fun. I've gotten really good at taking pictures of people with their iPhones. <laughs> uh, so come on in, say hi, pick your tree, get it early. Make sure you get it early because they are going to definitely dwindle down uh, as time goes on. So thank you so much. Stay well, be safe, and happy gardening. Bye.